Hello friends, welcome to another beginner's hip session. Today's session we will be a little bit mostly focusing on external rotation of the hips. So let's start at the beginning of our mat in a seated position. Left leg is forward, a little bit sideways to the left corner of our mat and right leg is here just standing in the middle of the mat and knee is to the right side and from here I send my hands forward inhaling chest forward and exhaling moving a little bit more down inhale up exhale move a little down inhale up exhale move a little down and from here I want you to inhale and raise your head up and exhale and round your back, tugging the chin to your chest. Inhale, send the chest up. If you are somewhere sitting here, stay here. Exhale, belly in, chin to chest. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, chin to chest. And then coming to center, inhaling, raising the hands up. And with exhalation, sending the right hand to the right back corner of your mat. And leaning back also with your left hand, twisting your belly, to your spine towards the right side. For two more breaths. Keep the belly in for one more. Coming back to center, changing the legs, right leg forward, left leg coming to closer to the body, and left knee down, hands forward or at the side of your body, inhaling and exhaling chest forward as much as you can go. Inhale, round your back, Exhale, chest forward. Keep your right leg flex. Inhale, round your back. And then exhale forward. Inhale here. Exhale, round your back. Inhale forward. Exhale, round your back. Last time, inhale forward and exhale, coming to center and then from inhaling, raising your hands up, exhaling, taking the left arms to left corner of your mat and reaching towards the left with your right hand, twisting your spine for three breaths, for two. For one, very nice, gently coming back to center and meeting the palm, the soles of your feet together. Here, the most important thing you can hold from your ankles to keep the spine straight. I'm holding from my ankles and I'm leaning back with my spine. And from here, very gently, you can start doing the butterfly. If you can get your heels closer, get your heels closer and keep flying with the butterfly. Here, make sure that you have all the control of the movement, that your knees are not hurting. If there is any pain in your heel, knees, you are doing it. Some you are doing something wrong, or you are going too far, then you should don't go that far. Keep it somewhere closer if your hips are not open enough you might enjoy your knees so try to feel the movement within your hips feeling your hips your inner thighs for another 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 one and from here get your hands on your mat and very gently lean forward but keep your 
spine active if you are somewhere here it's okay stay here doesn't matter keep your chest forward lower back straight and active and then a little bit lean forward just feeling your back and just feeling a little bit of your hips if you are somewhere here again keep your spine straight holding from ankles and pulling yourself in for another three two one very nice gently raising up again and then here taking the legs forward hip no the mat as well as wide as your mat and from here place your hands at the back your fingers facing forward now inhale raising the hip up exhale taking it down inhale hip up exhale take it down one more inhale hip up exhale take it down beautiful now take the right leg on top of your left knee and we do the same movement inhale hip up but don't let your right knee go all the way up try to push your right knee down exhale hip down inhale hip up exhale hip down inhale hip up stay here keep pushing the right knee towards the ground for another two one very nice gently send the hip down and very slowly drop your right leg and your left knee to the left side and then hug your right knee with your left hand twisting back for three breaths from the right side for two try to keep your right hip grounded in the floor for one very nice coming back placing the hands getting the legs up and from here lowering your both of your knees to right side very nice and then from here turning at the back of your mat from the right side placing your hands again to your mat but only gazing the back of your mat and your chest is forward like I'm doing Bhujangasana here, pulling my belly in, my chest up and forward. Three more inhalations here. Two more. One more. Very nice. Gently coming back to center and then taking the, before taking the right leg down, I'm gonna raise my hip up and I'm gonna take my hip closer to my left hip. And from here, let the fingers gaze back and try to get your shoulders closer to your right leg. Doesn't matter where you stay. The important point here is to you that you feel your hips. If you get, can get your hip closer as like this, get it. If not, if you are staying here, that's okay. Here, the idea you keep the chest forward and the spine actively getting closer to your right leg. You can move and adjust yourself as much as you need. As the movement is getting better and getting easier, you can increase the intensity always. For one more breath. Very nice. Get your hip back where it was and then put your right leg down and get your left leg on top of your right knee fingers facing forward now we inhale set the hip up exhale hip down inhale hip up exhale hip down last one inhale hip up and stay here pushing the left knee actively down to the floor 
for another two and one very nice gently setting the hip down and lowering your left foot and right knee to the right side and hugging your left knee with your right hand and setting your left hip down to the mat and twisting to left left hand goes at the back of your body and you gaze from the left shoulder back for another two very nice coming back placing your hands back raising your legs up and then from here right away dropping your knees to the left side and taking the round from the left and turning back to your mat gazing back and from here pushing your belly down and lifting your chest up like you're doing bujangasana cobra pose and twisting the lower body as much as you can for another free it's a very nice gentle twist warming up the spine getting it ready for helping us get the best of our hips gently coming back forward and then hands back fingers gazing back and then gently bringing your hip closer to your right heel and from here getting your shoulders closer by moving your hands forward but keep chest keep the chest forward and the back active and other free breaths here two one very nice and then raising your hip up and bringing bringing it back where it was untie the legs cross them and then take your hands forward coming to tabletop position now from here send the right leg back pushing your right heel down as much as you can and then from here do it the same thing with the left leg sending it back and coming to plank now set the right knee down and then take the left knee to your chest send the left leg back tuck the toes tuck the heel push the heel and then gently right leg straighten it coming to plank set the left knee down take the right leg to your chest then send the right leg back tuck the toes push the heel send the left leg back to plank pose inhale with exhalation drop the knees down and start turning from right to left here for a couple of breaths only to warm up the wrist for some other movement and then take the turn to the other side as well right to left circles last one coming to center Tug, tugging the toes inhale with exhalation lift the knees up bring the up upper side of your left foot to the ground and bring the upper side of your right foot to the ground and take the left heel to your hip leave it down and take the right heel to your hip leave it down inhale and then tuck the left toes to your mat tuck the right toes to your mat inhale and set the knees down to your child's pose exhaling down inhale roll your spine coming back to cat position tugging the toes with exhalation this time raise your knees all the way up to your downward dog pedaling here pedaling 
is perfect for the hip because if you pedal good enough all the way from your heel to your hip all that line all the chain all the muscles in between they are relaxing pedaling slow nice and easy right tuning with the breath and moving with the breath very nice very gentle now we're gonna start taking those pedals stepping forward towards our hands coming to the forward of our mat you can keep the knees bent a little bit if you like and here we swing down here and for another three breaths bring your head down don't force your neck to hold your head anymore or two four very nice very gently start moving and building your spine on top of each other rising up to your Tadasana, inhaling hands up, exhaling hands next to your body to Tadasana. Very nice. Now, inhale, rise up all the way to sky. Exhale, take the belly in. You can bend your knees if you like, going all the way down, head to knee. Halfway through, setting the hands down, bending the knees, sending the right leg back, setting the right knee to your mat. Inhaling, open up to low lunge, chest forward, exhaling, hands down, tuck the toes behind, send the left leg back to plank pose, inhale with exhalation, knees to floor, and then move forward, tuck the tailbone and lower your chin and chest to the ground, gazing forward, and then gently swing to your cobra, inhale, open your chest forward and then exhaling tugging the toes behind coming to your downward dog now inhale open your left leg up and bend your left knee and open your left hip towards your right hip try to open your left knee as much as you can but don't let your left shoulder rise up push your left shoulders down Keeping the right heel as much as you can, grounded, as grounded as you can, as close as, as to the ground. And keep right, left knee actively rising up. One more inhalation. And exhaling, taking it to your chest and gently setting it down between your hands. And right knee goes to the floor again. One more time. Inhaling. To low lunge, opening up, hands up, lengthen the spine, exhaling, hands down next to your left foot, tuck the leg behind as well, and this time bring it to forward, to Ardha Hanuman, inhaling halfway through, exhaling head to knee, bending the knee gently building your spine on top of each other rising up all the way to the sky inhale exhaling taking hands to the heart center inhaling rising up all the way to the sky exhaling taking the belly in going down to your uttanasana head to me inhaling gazing forward halfway through bending the knees and sending the left leg back and left knee goes to ground and then untuck the toe behind rise up to your high lunge reach up high with the hands and then exhaling taking the hands next to your right foot sending the right foot back to your plank inhaling and then with exhalation knees down chest moving forward tailbone in and then lowering your chin and chest to the ground with inhalation swinging your chest forward and with exhalation tugging your toes and then setting your knees up coming to your downward dog 
And now this time raise your right leg up, bending the knee, opening your right hip on top of the left hip for three breaths, but keep pushing your right shoulder down, don't let it rise up. Ground your left heel as much as you can for another two breaths, for another one. Keep lengthening up with the right knee and then with exhalation, bringing your right knee between your hands, setting the left knee down, inhaling, rising up for your high lunge, hands go up all the way to the sky and then exhaling hands comes next to the right foot leaning forward taking the left leg next to your right foot inhaling halfway through exhaling down head knees inhaling this time utkatasana chair pose knees together inhale rise up exhale again to uttanasana head to knees inhale utkatasana rise up Exhale down, head to knee. Inhale, Utkatasana, rise up. Exhale down, head to knee. And now just inhale halfway through, gaze forward, and then send the right leg back to your mat, setting your right knee down. And heel toe your leg a little bit to the left side, left leg to the left side of your mat bringing it to lead it and then from here get your left hand on top of your left knee and then by pushing it to left front corner gently try to come to the outer edge of your left feet foot and then untuck the toe behind and then try to straighten your left arm by pushing the left knee to left front corner and opening your chest up at the same time if your hip is all the way up like something like this try to push it down lengthen it through the ground for another five four it's not easy but you can do it three Chest up, one, last one, very nice, now bringing it back to where it was, setting the left leg, hand down and then doing your Bhujangasana back here, pushing the hip down and only if you like, just setting the right elbow down and then if you like the other elbow as well but don't round your back to do this if you're rounding your back stay on one arm even for both arms is better here we want you to feel the movement within your spine within your hips not in your spine for one more breath very nice so we Act like we're getting out, pushing back, and stay forward, and then again coming down gently, setting the right elbow down, left hand up, inhale, and exhalation, reach forward with the left hand, trying to get your spine parallel to the ground, and staying here for five, four. Three, two, one. Very nice. Get your left hand back to where it was. Rise on, rise on top of both hands, and then very gently get your left leg back. Go into your child pose for three. Come, easy breaths. Concentrating the difference between two sides, left thighs, left hips, right upper thighs, quads, and let's balance them 
nice and now tuck the toes gaze forward place hands forward place your elbows down and then start moving forward getting your chest closer to the ground and then raising the elbows up and going to your cobra inhale and then exhalation tugging your toes and coming to your downward dog inhaling right leg goes up and exhaling taking the right leg next to your right hand to your mat and setting your left knee down and then from here placing your right hand on top of your right knee and then gently coming to the outer edge of your right foot you can keep the toe behind untucked and then pushing your right knee to the right side right front corner i'm just pushing it using the angle of my leg and then my chest back up for another three two deep and long breaths don't forget each and every breath brings you back to movement and to yourself whatever uh, thought and idea is taking you away from here come back to your breath come back to moment bringing it back to center setting your right hand down and doing your bhujangasana back here pushing your hip down gazing forward only if you want coming on top of your left elbow and staying here you can go to the right elbow as well but if staying here is enough for you to feel the tension within your hips stay here you don't have to go far you don't have to make too much this is what we do all the time we want always more but do you really need more for one more breath and then very gently coming on top of our hands sending the hip back straightening the right knee one breath and then coming forward and again on top of our left elbow and right hand goes up inhale and then with exhalation reaching forward with the right hand placing it down to our mat for five breaths four three four two four one and coming back to your center and then very gently taking your right leg back and then setting your hip down to your child pose for one more breath and then very gently rising up to your all fours and then crossing your knees again and sitting on top of your hip and here we're going to go to not to an easy pose but it has levels so you can choose which place you want to stay so get your left leg in front of you with straight being parallel to the front line of fermat or if you're sitting like me the side line of fermat and getting the right heel on top of your left knee so here most of us will struggle if this is not possible for you you can get it a little bit more forward or a little bit more back or little, you can adjust it but here the idea is to get the right heel on top of the left heel and from here probably most of our knees gonna stay somewhere up high now here 
with my you can kick, get your left hand back with my right hand i'm pushing my right knee down but not from directly from up sky to down what i'm doing i'm getting some of my hip joint from the bottom and then i'm pushing it to the right front corner so instead of my right hand pushing it from the up to down i'm pushing it taking some flesh taking some of the tension in the hip joint opening up my leg externally and then pushing it down so here feeling the hip more getting it more closer to the other leg so what happens is that the right knee is trying to sit on top of the left heel if you are comfortable here taking your left hand on top of here and staying here this is already enough only if you want to go further and only if you have very open hips enough you can take your left elbow to the ground and then right elbow to the ground as well and then gazing forward doing the bhujangasana again straight lower back and inhaling deep and long for five four three two rising up to center getting your right feet right away directly to the left side of your left knee getting your left foot closer to your butt and then setting your hip down hugging your right knee with the left hand right hand goes at the back of your body for three breaths twisting gazing back or two for one and then coming back to center little twist to left and then switching the legs taking the right leg down and the left heel goes on top of the right knee very important with the knees if you feel anything on the knees stop don't go there and now from here left hand is pushing taking some flesh starting from the hip and then moving the knees to the left front corner getting closer to the right heel do this couple of times pushing it couple of times seeing if your knee can take it and see if you are doing it right if it feels good only if it feels good you go further only if it feels good you put more pressure and then if you are here comfortable if this is already enough staying here if you want to go further placing the elbows down and gazing forward like in sphinx for five four deep and long breaths three Two, one, coming back to center and setting the sole of your left foot down next to your right knee, getting the right heel closer to your hip, setting the left hip down, hugging your left knee with the right hand, left hand goes back, gazing from your shoulder, or free. Or two, four, one. Very nice. Coming back to center, you can lay down slowly to your back or your shavasana. You can take the knees to your chest. If there is any other asana that you feel like doing, please do so. If you want to continue the practice, please do so. If you're already grounded and ready for going to Shavasana or any meditative state, any meditative position, please 
be free. We haven't set the intention in the beginning of our practice, but whatever you are doing at the end, please go to look inside. Because even we didn't set it, the intention is always there. You just need to see. You just need to look at it. So, thank you for practicing with me today again. Namaste.